A new week is about to start, and we're going to be looking at more severe weather as it gets going. In fact, a potential severe outbreak for parts of the Central Plains, Midwest, and maybe even other areas as a strong front sparks storms while moving southeastward. In this video, I've got the details on that front, the breakdown of the storms along it, and so much more on the weather pattern ahead, so stick around. One Nation Weather. I appreciate you being here with me as always. Don't forget to check out that weather bell trial link down in the description as always if you want a free trial to the model maps that I use throughout my videos. Also, if you are new to my channel, make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy the content and want consistent, accurate, and easy to understand forecasts delivered right to you in the future. That can especially be delivered right to you if you hit that notification bell. Now, let's jump right into it here by taking a look at future radar and a look at the pattern overview for what we've got going on with severe weather this week. We're starting here, moving head towards our Sunday, May 19th of 2024. Yeah, tomorrow as I film this video, it's your late Saturday. Going into our Sunday here, we're watching the potential for some severe storms from at least parts of southwest Minnesota, South Dakota, really on down there, especially into parts of Nebraska and central Kansas. Nebraska, Kansas, northern Oklahoma, that's going to be the little bullseye for our severe weather here on our late Sunday, where we will have the potential for all severe weather hazards. That does include wind, hail, maybe even a few tornadoes getting going in the mix. A broader region surrounding that, probably at least seeing some isolated wind and um, you know some hail concerns getting going out of the storms there. Now, this system going to weaken as it heads on off towards the east as we head towards our Monday. So as we head through the mid-morning time from Monday, some showers over a lot of the upper Midwest, the um, upper Mississippi Valley here. Notice that weakens and falls apart over parts of the Great Lakes region heading into early Tuesday, but maybe some isolated severe weather through parts of Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois. As we go through the day Monday, those are the primary states for isolated severe weather out of that system. Notice this new area I'm circling as we head towards late Monday night going into early Tuesday, May 21st. Over here, the Central Plains, we're going to have a new surface low develop. This is what's going to be even stronger as we head towards Tuesday afternoon over parts of the northern northern plains and into the upper midwest that could briefly spark some severe storms over especially nebraska and kansas once again late monday going into early tuesday but look at how this low becomes more intense we're sub 1000 millibars here you can see that 980 to 990 millibar low being projected there on that number in northern iowa that is indicative of a pretty strong low pressure system making its way through the region so a lot of heavy rain right under the low but south of it they're moving through parts of at least eastern nebraska from iowa all the way back down there to eastern oklahoma and northern arkansas we'll be watching this front continue to head eastward as we go through late Tuesday heading into early Wednesday, May 22nd, and along it, we could see all modes of severe weather and potentially a severe weather outbreak as the system does look to be potent enough, contain some of the in atmospheric ingredients and surface ingredients as well to support some dangerous severe weather. We'll look at those ingredients momentarily. That's certainly something we'll be tracking there. And then as we head towards late Wednesday, this front still lingering around as this low kind of stalls on out over the Great Lakes region. We'll probably be watching at least isolated severe weather potential from parts of maybe even western Pennsylvania through Ohio, Indiana, the Ohio River Valley region there all the way on to parts of eastern Texas where especially some larger hail will probably get in the mix with some of those storms and potentially destructive hail depending on how severe these storms get. Only time and new model runs will help tell with that but as we make our way ahead towards even parts of our Thursday and now as we're heading towards the end of the week we're obviously wanting a break from severe weather in a lot of zones especially places like Oklahoma where there will be overlap day by day and at least some severe weather threat. Nonetheless though from parts of the northeastern United States back down through the Tennessee Valley and all the way on over to the south central plains looks like we will be at least looking out for for some scattered thunderstorms and potentially some scattered severe weather, especially on down there towards the Arklatex region as we head towards the late day time frame. Some of that energy transferring its way on over to the Tennessee Valley, Mid-Atlantic, maybe even parts of the Carolinas, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi on Friday. That's a little bit more uncertain at this time. Certainly looks like we'll be watching some storms there, as well as with a potential new low bringing severe weather up here over the Central Plains, the Northern Plains as we head towards Friday. So it looks like even as we head towards the end of the week, we're still going to have systems to watch. Obviously, this video going to focus a little bit more on the past pattern as we head through the early to midweek time frame though and let's start with what we've got here as early as Sunday May 19th we're going to have that severe weather setup remember over Kansas and Nebraska especially as the day goes on and we head towards the evening hours that's going to be primarily fueled by this little trough you can see some of those greens at least moving on in here over parts of this ensemble run really just a collection of models showing us that we're going to be watching some 40 to 50 knot mid to upper level jet winds here beginning to make their way on out of parts of Arizona and into the central plains that's going to help fuel that severe weather threat at least here in the mid to upper levels. This is around 15 to 20,000 feet above your heads. Normally what I refer to as the mid to maybe even upper level jet stream here in my videos. This is what I normally show here to kind of give you a look at what each system's upper level energy is giving you. And you can certainly see that we're going to be given a big dose of upper level energy here over parts of northern Texas, heading into Oklahoma, Kansas, southeastern Nebraska late Tuesday. And remember, this piece of energy is what's going to probably fuel a potential severe weather outbreak here heading into Iowa, Missouri, Illinois. Those are some of the focal zones where this trough 
off, that's what this piece of energy is called, is likely going to move late Tuesday heading into Wednesday. And as this continued piece of energy continues heading eastward over parts of the country, we're probably going to be watching more severe weather again, as mentioned from parts of at least to the Ohio Valley, all the way back down there to parts of northern Texas as we go through the day Wednesday and even towards Thursday and beyond, we'll be watching some storms over the region. Now, dew points. Once you get above 50, that's any of these kind of lighter yellow colors. You're at least looking at modest energy and moisture at the surface for severe weather. Once you get into those deeper yellows, the oranges, and you're getting well through the 60s and towards the 70s, you're looking at a much bigger severe weather chance. And we're going to have at least some low to mid 60s for dew points, helping to fuel our environment here late Sunday, May 19th. So with our event there in parts of Nebraska and Kansas, that's where the risk is most likely on Sunday. We'll at least be watching again some modest moisture, a modest jet stream supporting a somewhat decent severe weather threat. And when I say decent, I mean just in terms of risk level. Obviously, it's not decent for anybody being impacted. In terms of the setup heading as we head towards late Monday here, May 20th, we're still going to be watching at least a pocket of moisture in a zone where we'll be watching the storms in southeast Nebraska, northeast Kansas, northern Missouri, and southern Iowa there, some mid-60s for dew points there. I think Tuesday, though, this is what continues to scream to me. We already saw that the mid to upper level jet stream is looking pretty intense on Tuesday. Look at this moisture. You see that column of the deeper oranges through parts of Texas and Oklahoma. Some of those dew points are in the 70s. Even into western Missouri, we'll see some of those. And even moving towards parts of southern Iowa, central Iowa, we'll be watching some mid to upper 60s in the dew point department, meaning that we're probably going to have considerable moisture. And some of that will progress through Illinois, other areas of Missouri, Arkansas, and Louisiana as we had late Tuesday going into Wednesday. This continued moisture is what continues to fuel this front in addition to what's in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. Here we go Wednesday afternoon again, that quarter I was telling you about from Ohio back down to Northeast Texas. That's where it's looking like according to this model, according to other model runs, we've got that consistency in that moisture at the surface. And the Storm Prediction Center already highlighting an area here in the area just circled of parts of Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas for Thursday late day for severe weather. And you can see why, at least definitely down at the surface, it's looking like we're going to have plenty of moisture. And there's certainly that front that you can see is continuing to linger around and potentially even combined with a new warm front trying to get going there over the Southern Plains Thursday. So that's a little bit of a story for another time. Let's talk one other thing for the early to midweek severe weather before I reveal my ONW severe scale graphics. You can see here as we head towards late Sunday, remember this is where we've got that risk over parts of Nebraska, Kansas. Notice that's where the peak low level jet stream winds are. This is close to our surface, not too far above our heads, you know, just several thousand feet above the surface, but not tens of thousands of feet. You can see in through parts of Nebraska, Kansas, we've got some 40 to 50 knot low level jets light, uh, jet stream winds likely there. And what that does is helps move those winds out of the south closer to the surface combining with some of those westerlies and more of the mid to upper levels like I was just showing you earlier. And when you get that combination, you get the potential for tornadoes to begin to increase and those supercell storms that produce them is what really increases. And then, of course, you get the tornadoes as a result. Heading towards Monday, you know, maybe in their parts of the Midwest, we'll be watching a little bit of what's left of that system as it heads east. But I think Monday heading into the late day is mostly a transition day. We'll still watch a few tornadoes in the zone. I'll show you in a moment. But again, here we go towards Tuesday, late day. Look at that, some 60 knot low-level jet winds trying to crank on up there through parts of Missouri heading into Illinois, southern Iowa. That's where the overlap with that mid to upper level jet stream energy will be. That's where that column of those 60s and the dew points will be. So now you see everything coming together and now you see why I've shown you what I've shown you so far because you've got the combination of all these ingredients on top of each other. That could mean for an outbreak over the region and heading on up into the rest of the Great Lakes region as we head towards Wednesday, you can notice this low-level wind field really stalling out. We'll see what lingering threat for tornadoes we can get over parts of the Midwest Ohio Valley, maybe back down towards Texas on Wednesday and then again on Thursday. So looking at my ONW severe scale here, it goes from zero to seven. One is your first risk for at least some isolated severe weather. Two is when you're starting to get into a few more, maybe significant storms. Three to four is when you're getting into those hatch risks from the Storm Prediction Center, indicating more isolated, scattered, significant severe weather being possible to likely. We've, we're up to a three and a four of reports in Nebraska, Kansas, and northern Oklahoma on Sunday because a local severe weather event appears likely with a focus on Kansas for the best risk of all hazards. Clusters of storms are primarily expected over that level of three of seven broader area late Sunday, bringing scattered damaging winds, some hail, and again, maybe a few tornadoes there, especially in Kansas and a few of the surrounding areas as well. Heading into Monday, a little bit of that severe weather threat will continue with that low as it heads towards Wisconsin, Illinois, and western Michigan, as I mentioned, so a two of seven on my scale there. The best potential with a local corridor of severe weather late Monday, though, will probably be over southeastern Nebraska and northeast Kansas. Here we go towards Tuesday, though. This is what I'm really concerned about. I think a severe weather outbreak appears 
here's possible, if not likely, Tuesday and Tuesday night focused over areas from eastern Nebraska and Kansas to Wisconsin and Illinois. A broad level 4 of 7 risk has been placed down because of this. So from parts of northeast Kansas, southeast Nebraska, northern Missouri, heading all the way on up there towards southern Wisconsin, that's where I've got this risk. So note where I put those red colors there on your screen. That's where I almost considered upgrading the risk on my severe scale. So again, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you want updates as we get closer to this event. But even as we head towards Wednesday, I've outlined a broad area where I think at least isolated severe weather will be likely. Again, from parts of Ohio back down to Northeast Texas, as we talked about in line with the ingredients earlier. Thursday, the best chance for severe weather with a possible peak zone will be in parts of Oklahoma, Northeast Texas, Southern Arkansas, Northern Louisiana, maybe even moving on up towards the Appalachian Mountains here and towards the Northeast, we could see at least some isolated severe weather heading on up in that direction direction there. Now let's talk temperatures here as we head through the week ahead. Let's start with Sunday. You can see we've got some 80s on the way. We're done talking severe weather. Let's move on to these temperatures and really you can see it's very warm out there and this is worth talking about. All the way to Detroit, Michigan here on Sunday, May 19th, we're looking at some mid 80s getting into the pattern and in fact the further south and at southwest you go from Detroit, Michigan, it is a lot warmer here in the parts of the southern high plains. Some of the zones in Kansas where we'll be watching severe weather later in the day, warming into the freaking 90s here as we head towards the end of the day. So Wow, really warm temperatures there, and that's what's going to help support the severe weather risk. You can see on up here over the upper Midwest, parts of the Great Lakes region, more upper 80s as we head towards Monday. Some low 90s down here in Arkansas, Louisiana. That could even break some records there in western parts of Arkansas. Monday, parts of western Oklahoma, west Texas, getting into the 90 to 105 degree range just for regular temperatures Monday afternoon. Here we go towards Tuesday, a lot of the Midwest here out ahead of that front in that zone where I'm thinking the peak severe weather risk will be possible, if not likely. Look at that place like St. Louis, Missouri. We could break a record with a high in the 90s. Definitely looking like some very warm conditions out ahead of that front. And remember, this is clashing with some overall 50s for highs moving into parts of the Dakotas and northwestern parts of Nebraska over there. So that's why the southerly flow out ahead of this front, combining with that northwesterly flow behind it, that's what's helping to support the severe weather this week. So everything's really connected. You can see as we head towards Wednesday, and remember, even if I'm not mentioning your exact location, you can use the key and see it on the map. Back down here over parts of southern Nevada, southeast California, southwest um, Arizona, we'll be watching some 80s and 90s and above. Wednesday afternoon, same deal goes down here, a little bit further and closer down, hugging the Gulf Coast here in southern Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Note Wednesday afternoon, though, as this cold front heads towards parts of the northeastern United States, Wednesday going to Thursday, we'll be watching potential severe weather up there. Some mid-80s up there in the parts of New York, even on up over towards Maine, we'll be watching some 80s for highs as the south winds crank ahead of the front. Here we go towards Thursday, May 23rd, still watching this front sagging southeastward, so temperatures cooling down in a lot of zones north of it. Still some mid and upper 70s up here in parts of the Ohio Valley Thursday, though. It's south of it, though, through the Carolinas. Georgia on down here closer to the Gulf Coast as well. We're going to be watching the upper 80s. Some of the 90s still continue to fill into the pattern with more humidity. Keep in mind ahead of the front on Thursday. Here we go towards Friday, May 24th of 2024, looking like parts of the South Central Plains. South Central United States continuing with the warmth. And that warmer bubble that we watched down here in the South Central United States could support a longer term severe weather pattern we're about to look at momentarily here. Notice 50s, 60s, 70s the further north you go. So that's a lot less favorable in places like Minnesota, Wisconsin for severe weather down the line. So here's the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Looking like cooler than average weather in the west and over the north central United States, at least by a little bit as we head towards the 24th through the 28th of May. A lot warmer than average down here over the south central and gulf coast regions of the United States. That means high heat, high humidity, maybe even some record highs. This precip graphic shows that we could see a continuing active pattern in parts of the south central United States, maybe even going on up towards the Ohio Valley and the east coast. So it looks like we could continue to see severe weather to close out May, head towards June. If you want to stick with me for all of that, hit that subscribe button for more of those consistent, accurate, and easy to understand forecast predictions. That's it for this video. Hope everybody has a great rest of the weekend. One Nation Web.